Let's animate a head turn using a cutout character rig. Doing head turns with rigs is a little different than doing it traditionally just because the rigs have constraints that we need to deal with. Sometimes when you get a head that turns, it's going to be flipped. So when you tween it like this, see how we get that flipping action? You need to find a way to work around this. So how this is set up, rig comes with a bunch of keyed poses like head tilts and body turns. So I use the plus key on my keyboard to move those to the right so I have some space to animate here. Then I went to my head layer and I copied and pasted some of the poses that I wanted. I just want to turn left to right, so I copied these two keys here. So now I'm ready to start animating. Normally, before you do a scene, there's going to be context, but the character is going to be interacting with another character. They're going to be seeing something that draws their attention, so always know the context before you start animating. This is more of just an exercise, so we don't really need to worry about the expression or the context of the shot. We just want to know how to handle the rig to do a smooth head turn. First step, let's adjust our keys. I'm going to add a little bit more of a body tilt like this there and then he's gonna turn a little bit more this way so now boom 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 very easy now we can deal with that tweening problem how the head was flipping and that's just because if we go to the how the head is actually set up if we go here see these two frames this is where the flip happens so everything from this frame to this frame is gonna tween okay and everything from this frame to this frame is also going to tween okay, but we can't go from here directly to here. So let's grab a keyframe. We're not going to grab right dead center. Let's grab something a little more over here. Copy. Go to our first frame. We'll skip one. Paste. Right, so now when we tween, the tween is working better. Let's do the same thing for the other side. So this is where that flip happens. You can kind of see the, the movement. I'm going to grab something around here and we're going to paste it like this. So now we have our tweens kind of blocked in. So we already have a pretty smooth head turn. So these are going to be our breakdowns. Now if you didn't have those keyframes for the head, you'd have to go in and manually move each individual feature of the body. Not impossible, but a little bit annoying. So now we just need to adjust our breakdowns a little bit more, kind of clean up the head. So maybe drop this guy down some more. And same thing here. So take your time at this stage and really try and make it look nice. Right, a lot of this too is just understanding how the rig works. The more you understand, the easier this is going to be. There you go. So we have our breakdowns put in. Now let's work on the spacing. I don't know if this is going to make sense. Let's say this is our movement, our line of movement. What we want is our to slow out of our first pose like this and slow into our second pose, right? So the graph would kind of look like that. It's gonna go slow, fast, and slow again. So this kind of timing is really gonna hide those imperfections when we make that transition from screen left to screen right. It's actually gonna be easy. So I'm working on the torso master layer, which is open, and my head and neck layer, which is closed. I'm gonna be control K on both of those, and then control K here. We're not going to worry about the middle just yet. Okay, so let's add that spacing we were talking about, the slow in and slow out. 
what I'm gonna do is click these keyframes, click these orange things, this chart comes up, right? So if I wanna slow out of frame one, I'm gonna go to my right time ratio and press 40. You can choose any value, but I find like 20 to 50 work the best. Apply in next. Now, frame one, I'm on frame five. So I slowed out of frame one, I'm on frame five. I don't want any ease here, so I'm gonna leave it blank. Apply next. Now I'm on frame seven, the exact same thing. I also don't want to ease into or out of frame seven. I'm gonna leave it blank, apply next. Now we're on frame 11. So now I want to ease into frame 11. So now we go on the other side and I'm just gonna press 40 again. Press apply. So now we have our slow out of frame one and slow into frame 11. So let's play this. Right? A little fast, a little choppy, but we can see the slow in and slow out. So if this is too fast, we can just choose something in the middle, plus it by two, plus it by two. And now we can adjust the timing that way. Okay, so it's looking a little bit better, but we still have the problem of this middle pop. So it pops from this frame to that frame. That's too much movement. It doesn't look smooth. Our rig has head positions already keyframed. It's kind of an easy fix. We're just gonna grab another keyframe that we need, drop it in the middle, and do a little bit more frame by frame tweaking so the transition is smooth. So let's try this. So I'm gonna go here and I'll plus it to give myself a little bit more room. Let's go to our head layer and choose one of our heads facing the front. Let's drop it in. It doesn't matter because we're not tweening this. It's just a single keyframe. It's more like a, a bridge. So let's turn on our onion skin. Let's drop this guy down. And then we gotta match the eyes. See how the eyes go up and down? We gotta match the eyes to our previous frame. So a few things. First of all, all of my drawing swaps happen in the middle, right? So the nose, the mouth, they all swap in the middle and then they are the same towards the end and they're the same towards the beginning. So they tween properly. I also turned off the beard details just because it, the way I rigged them, it was, it was pretty horrible. So I kind of just turned them off. Play this, I'm kind of happy with how this is turning out. There's a few more things that we can do. So the first thing we can do is add some secondary, like some drag to the hair. As it comes down, it's gonna drag a bit. I'm not really thinking too much about this. Right, he's gonna drag. Here. And what I'll do is, I'll drop a key like three frames after everything ends. And I'm gonna have this overshoot a little bit. Just put a regular tween in and when we play it, his hair is moving a little bit. Is the head placement is a little bit weird for me. It should be a little bit higher. Here, I think. There you go. And when we play this, is we're gonna do the same thing with the eyebrows. We're gonna offset the eyebrows timing. Eyebrows come up. I'm gonna set three frames here, drop a key, and have the eyebrows just come down a little bit. Same thing, drop a key three frames, come down like one, two, three. See how that looks. Play it. Small things to make it a little bit smoother, like this mustache and the nose, it kind of pops from here to here. Because it's kind of, um, so we're gonna have to adjust this, move it a little bit over. And it's kind of like, 
you're working with what you get, right? These drawings aren't that great. Like, I'm not a great rigger or anything. So it may be a little bit tough to get what you actually want. But, you know, we have to kind of work with what we have here. So let's kind of, let's move him. Maybe like this, maybe. There you go. So now when we play this, that's a little bit better. This is kind of what it looks like rendered playing at speed. It came out okay. Obviously this rig is very limited. It's not the best rig ever. But we got a pretty smooth movement with the head. Now some things we could have done also are add some more movement to the shoulders because they're kind of stiff. Maybe focus a little more on the neck, how it's kind of detaching from the shoulders. We could have spent more time on that. But overall, I kind of like how it turns and it's a pretty smooth turn. That's kind of my process when I approach a head turn. And this even applies to a body turn as well. It's a little bit more complicated. We can do that in a different video. But basically, you want to slow out of your keys, slow out of your keys, slow into your next key and have the fastest motion in the middle. And that's where you want to change your drawing substitutions. Also, when we want to fix that tweening, that flipping problem with our tweens, we can either if our rig has it, we can copy and paste the right keyframes. Or you may have to drop a few keys and manually slide your head to where you want it to go. If you have any questions about the process, about this rig, if you have any tips for me on how you like to turn your heads, I would love to hear what you have to say. So leave a comment below. It's getting late here, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Happy animating.